an Eastern Conference Finals preview, maybe. Big time matchup. Joel Embiid and the Philadelphia 76ers taking on Jason Tatum and the Boston Celtics. And let's just say early, all the stars were out. It's first James Harden kicking his highlight off at the rim. So does Jason Tatum head to the rim with a purpose and he wouldn't be denied. How about Joel Embiid with the mid-range jump shot? Can't forget about the sturdy Tobias Harris using his left. And the mass man, Jalen Brown, joining the fun. Just like that, we're tied at 30 in the second quarter. How about this big time block from Embiid on Smart? And he's a two-way player doing it for his team in all the ways they need him to be great as Joel Embiid. Who's going to stop that? The answer in the first half was no one. Sixers leading by six as we took a break. Third quarter, more good Philly ball. Embiid. Finding Tobias for three. You got to believe Harris is going to be a big piece to what Philadelphia is trying to do in the postseason this year. So is that guy. Can James Harden finally get over the hump and win one? Embiid. It's like, I got my boys back. Sixers go up by 10. But the Celtics are your reigning Eastern Conference champs. And they're just no longer rattled. An 18-3 run kicked off by two threes from Al Horford. And then how about that man? Remember that spot as Tatum knocks down a three to end the third quarter. Fourth quarter, Derek White getting to the bucket. Boston now out in front. It's Robert Williams running the floor and being rewarded for his efforts. How about Jalen Brown with the steal? You got to call it out for Embiid, man. Brown with the finish. The Celtics now up by 10. Philly's not done with 2.20 to go. It's Embiid cutting the Sixers deficit down to one. And then Joel with the big time block. Tyrese Maxey struggled most of this game, but how about that layup to give Philly the lead? We're tied at 107. Six seconds to go. Celtics give it to Tatum, and Tatum gives it to the Sixers. No timeouts for Philadelphia. They just got to heave that bad boy. It's Embiid from three quarters. Court! But wait, why is Joel Embiid not reacting like a guy that just drilled one of the greatest game time buzzer beaters ever? It's because he knows the ball was still in his hands when he let it go. That is an absolute Bummer of a loss for the Sixers. They lose at home by three despite Joel Embiid's 12 rebounds, five assists, and we thought 44 points. He'll end with 41 because that three does not count. The Celtics improve to 44 and 17 on the season. We'll talk more about the game throughout the day. It was a fantastic basketball game. Clearly a playoff field type of game as we near towards the end of the regular season. But I want to focus this video segment on Jason Tatum's shot that counted and Joel Embiid's shot that didn't count. I don't want to cheat these two brothers. First off, Jason Tatum is clear as day becoming one of the best guys to go to late in games. Under a minute, if you put the ball in his hands, you expect him to figure it out. And that is a huge honor. And I don't think, you know, people realize what it means to be in that category. Like, again, does that mean Tatum's going to make every game, tie-in, game, go-ahead shot? No, I don't mean that. But do you trust him to make the right play? Do you trust that he will get a shot up? Yes, you do. That play call was designed uh, by M head coach Missoula for, for Tatum. There was no one else going to touch that basketball. They gave it to Tatum in the backcourt. They let him get some steam. And he didn't attack the rim. He said, I got a trigger for a jump shot. Let me get that. Now, I want to swing over here. I know it didn't count. But, fam, you do realize we were literally fingertips away from one of the greatest clutch shots in NBA history. Like, bro, Joel Embiid, what in the – what are we watching? Like, bro, he just flings it NBA 2K style, and it goes – that crowd in Philadelphia is going crazy. 
everybody's wild but the guy that made the shot. That's the craziest thing. That's something you pretty much never see, right? Usually the fans are going crazy, but also the players are going crazy because they usually believe they got it up in time. I don't think I've ever seen a scenario where everybody in the building is wilding for a shot, but the one person that shot it, he knows deep down he didn't get it off in time. I mean, just from such a, a far, as far a distance as it was, I don't even know how MB was able to realize he didn't get it off in time. I'm assuming that was sound base. But what a miraculous three point. Bro, that's MVP level stuff. Again, doesn't count by fingertip. But what more can you ask of Joel Embiid? A huge game and just put his team in a position on both ends of the court. He d- That's why the, the Embiid fans get mad in Philadelphia. They do reach out to me. They do hit me up. They say, yo, bro, Jokic has more consistent good, good to great games. I'll give you that. But Joel Embiid's highs are so high. And giving your team 41 points, double-digit rebounds, I mean, countless countless possessions, it was MB making big plays. Almost made the biggest play by knocking in that shot, but it doesn't count. And the Sixers lose by three. We're talking more about this game throughout the day. You want to make sure you're subscribed to the platform for more on this huge, huge game. Okay, basketball, I'm loving what y'all giving me as of late. Going back to that Clippers-Kings game, and now this one on Saturday. All right, basketball, I I see what y'all doing out there. I'm, I'm impressed, all right? 